invalidation and unsolicited advice when someone has a chronic illness. Unsolicited advice and a little bit of invalidation here and there do hurt. They hurt and they suck. And that is my opinion. And most of my videos, obviously you'll know that I always say this is my opinion, my experiences. So here's something I want to address. Um, I'm going to use the term chronically ill people, but I mean anyone who gets anything at any time. I think we all can feel this. Um, when I first found out that I had cancer, honestly, I took it out, um, took it very well. I mean, like incredibly well. <laughs> like I was like, oh yeah, I knew I had that. Okay. And I was pretty excited because there was an answer, but when I had time, to actually let it sink in it sucked it sucked it sucked and it sucked it was horrible what happened is I had an answer to why I was feeling so hellish and insane and not good before so that was one slight amount of relief but it didn't take away that I felt like crap I continued to feel like crap the only difference is now I had a name and and a different mindset. And what happened with my mindset was I played the blame game. I got to look at myself and say, Oh my God, what did you do to get this? When you were in 1987, did you turn left when you should have turned right? Did you do that? Or did you eat the wrong chicken or did you not eat enough chicken or did you have too many eggs or did you eat the wrong vegetable or did you walk by the wrong house? Believe me, all this ridiculousness, blame game, right? And what, what the hell did I do to get this? Okay. So I went through, beat myself up, of course, for that. And now it's like, oh God, you know, I've done this. Now I've got this and oh, how did I get this? Right. And then all of a sudden you're in this phase of, okay, so now I have this, there's a name and there's a solution. Let's hit it. So I go through and I read whatever articles I can. And you know, the people I love, they go and they start reading, we're all researching and doing. And then it kind of occurs to you, wait a second, there are professionals who get paid for this, who actually studied the science behind this who have been working on this for years and years and years, day in, day out. And this is like what they live and breathe. And you live and breathe it, but in a crappier sense where you actually have other interests, <laughs> but they find it interesting, right? And so you think, okay, I can do as much as I can for me in my possible situation. And if I can save the world from this one day, fabulous, I'll do what I can, but this is not my bread and butter, right? Like for other people who are professionals. So you go through that, you go through the diet, you go through the exercise, you go through the energy, you go through any solutions, you go through so many doctors that you can do, um, professionals, any information, you are scrounging, you are searching, you're trying to do the right thing. You know, am I wearing the right color dress today? Like literally ridiculous stuff. So you go through the mental hell, you go through the blame game, you go through, did I do this enough? Um, you go through the worries of insurance. Oh my God, the money bank break in insurance companies and all the paperwork, all the paperwork and the torture. Believe me, I have stories on that. Just ridiculous stories of uh, torture put on by these insurance companies. That's a whole other thing. You go through that, right? And while you're going through all this, you know, you know, going through all these things, then you're getting poured in on other people saying, what did you do wrong? How did you get this? Did you smoke? I bet you smoked. And I'm thinking, I bet I did. I bet I did, but you know what? I didn't ask for this. And I bet you did, and you didn't get it. And I don't think that the blame game is appropriate or even worth it at this point, right? I bet you did some bad things. I bet we all did some things. And that is life. But I don't think anyone's out there jumping to say, let me have a horrifying disease that I got to be bothered with forever or die from, right? You just don't do that. So when I'm hearing the blame game, 
I think there's a, a time we go through the cycle. We go through the torture. Believe us. If you have a chronic illness, you've probably tortured the hell out of yourself already, mentally, emotionally, you're done. I mean, the frustration, and you know what? It'll probably go in cycles. It does for me. There are times where I'm like, okay, oh my God, I've got to, I've got to do something more. I've got to do, you know, a better diet. I've got to do this or that. And I'm not even a dieter. I hate having to diet. I like lots and lots of food, but you know, anyhow, so we do all these things. We're trying to do this. We read another article. We get this, um, you know, some other information. Maybe that's the answer. Maybe this is the answer. But you know what? I think that's enough. We can do what we want because it's our life, our situation. And then there is the outside pouring of unsolicited information, unsolicited um, invalidation, which is horrendous. Okay, so I'm going to read the first sentence to an article I received recently. And um, it has infuriated me. It just, it just, oh, it, it's every bad feeling I could feel. Okay, just the first sentence. Doctor whoever says, no one must die of cancer except out of carelessness. The fury the anger, the, the emotions that this brings to me of what in the hell, who wrote this? Who took the time to write such disgusting, horrifyingly just a crap sentence? And then they went on, you know, eat more bananas, eat less eggs. I mean, just this ridiculous. The, the article is absolute crap. But on top of this, this one line, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? It was just the worst, okay? So here we go. When someone has a chronic illness, they are dealing with it every day. They don't wake up and beg for this. They may or may not be blamed for it. Who knows, who cares? At this point, it is how you are right now and what you're doing and how you can do. And I think everybody honestly is doing the very, very best with the information they have, the resources that they have, their life, their support, they are doing the very best. So unsolicited advice, crappy articles that are horribly condescending and infuriating and very just cruel to the core um, are unnecessary. So that is my complaint because I am tired of these weird articles <laughs> and weird unsolicited advice. Here's, let me give you a couple examples. Um, I like to go out and work and what I do is I work my guts out as far and as much as I can. Why? Because I've already been bedridden a couple times. I've had to learn how to walk again and it is awful. I've had my muscles atrophy. And if you think that I don't enjoy that sweat and nasty flavor in my mouth and just feeling absolutely beat up because I worked my guts out, if you don't think I enjoy it, you're nuts because it is if you have been on the opposite end, I think for me, the sweetest thing is hard work, getting out, getting dirty and working because I can. And I appreciate that. And I, I love it. And then I'm nagged at. <laughs> Are you working too hard? Possibly sometimes. Um, and I'm trying to curb whatever I can to an extent but I'm also not gonna sit down and take this lightly. I'm not gonna die before I'm dead. And I have the right to be sick. I have this, unfortunately, right? It is here, it is whatever, this part of my life, but this is not gonna negate the rest of my life. I like gardening. I like getting out and doing things. I am a curious person. I find things fascinating. I want to play with my son. And I want to be on his level. I want to go out and I want to look at bugs and I want to get dirty and I want to play in mud and I want to see the world and I want to do all of these other things. I want to have a messy house at times. I want to clean it. I want to try and get my stuff organized. I want to be a regular human being who totally screws up and totally fixes things and is just fine how I am. That is absolutely fine. This chronic illness, it's there. It's here. I am here. Okay. 
And so if you want to send me unsolicited advice or anything, how about how to have an awesome day, how to be a really cool person, how to be this, right? Because all that other junk, the blame game, I don't need it. Been there, done that. I've already done it to myself. Believe me. Don't think I don't struggle with that. Um, don't think I don't struggle with the have I slept too much or am I getting out enough? Don't think I don't struggle with that. And don't give me one more crappy ass. You don't look sick. I don't want to look sick. Who wants to look sick? You know? So here's the thing. I found that people also respond very well when you're crappy and you're sick. Yes, you have it. And it is identifiable and it is something. It's kind of like when people have a headache, people can't always define that because they don't see blood rushing out of their head, right? I get that. It helps you understand and empathize. But guess what? People don't always want to play this role. I don't want to be sick. When I'm sick, I'm, I'm in bed. It's pretty freaking obvious. You know what I mean? But I will try to not be that because I don't want to identify as that, as my only thing. I can say, hey, this is a part of me. Tag it along with every other freaking tag I've got in my life, right? And I've got good, bad, whatever. That's life. But when you're saying that this is the only thing that you can identify me with and that this is the only thing I should live by, no, I won't. I won't. I just can't. So this is kind of my rant on, <laughs> honestly, just no more unsolicited advice. No more crappy, you know, invalidation. Oh, if you did this, if you did, you know what? I'm going to do what I'm going to do and I'm going to be a person and I will look for someone who can give me uplifting, kind advice and not this, you know, do 10,000 herbal lotions, crap, please, no more, no more. If that were the solution, we probably have already done it, right? Whatever, okay? Um, also, I don't want someone to say, don't speak of how you feel, ignore it, it'll go away. Don't give me this, don't give me this and don't say only go by my numbers. No more. I'm a person. I have a right to feel. You have a right to feel, but feel yours. I'm not sitting there saying, you know, uh, looks like you aren't eating enough. It looks like you're not getting enough sleep. Quite frankly, it's not my business. You do what you got to do. That is me venting. That is me ranting because I am tired of it. And I think most people with a chronic illness are tired of this. Oh, okay. This is crazy. So I just did a video on um, chronic illness, the invalidation, and just absolute frustration of unsolicited advice, ridiculousness, and on my Facebook. Number one, they're probably listening to everything. I swear, it's weird. But there's this thing called chronic illness bingo, and it is amazing. I'm going to read it really quick, and then I'll just like write down the words that they had on here, okay? Holy crap. Whoever did this freaking nailed it. Nailed it. Okay, by the way, I did that blackout. I've got blackout on bingo because this is some real stuff. Okay, chronic illness bingo. You need to get out more. Are you getting enough sleep? You sleep too much. You don't look sick. Positive thinking. My friend was cured by yesterday. Uh, you, why can't you today? Oh my God. Have you tried? Question mark. You need to exercise. I wish I had time to nap. Oh, I get that too. Really? Oh my God. You should try this diet. Are you trying hard enough? Dr. Oz says, <laughs> I wish I didn't have to work. Oh, that's just brutal. That is brutal. Oh, brutal. Um, it could be worse. I just pushed through it. It's made up by Big Pharma. Really? You should stop. Are you better yet? You're just stressed. I haven't heard of that. Is it real? Oh my God. These things are ridiculous. I didn't even, oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, two more. You have that because, and you take too many medications. This is mind blowing. This is everything that has been absolutely driving me crazy lately. I love it. Anyway, I think everyone can relate to this. This chronic illness bingo is amazing. It is so true. And you know what? 
oh my god it's true and anyway mind blown best of luck to everyone feel better and um are you trying hard enough okay i just cracked myself up i hope you definitely know that i was being sarcastic about this bingo thing like seriously i'm sure you're trying hard enough i just had to say it because these are ridiculous things best of luck to everyone we can all just do what we gotta do you know wishing you all love happiness health and the best and maybe some humor in some of this craziness enjoy